Hey hello guys welcome to Wikivox channel where the search for the truth begins. We all know about Elon Musk's biggest project Starlink. We also know about project Neuralink. Do we know about the project Mandrake 1? Joe Biden is the presidential elect. He introduces a 23 members transition team. In this 21 members there are 15 female members. What is so special about this team? We have already predicted that if Joe Biden wins the elections, the weapons manufacturers and weapon sellers will dominate the world. The domination has already started. In this video, we will discuss DARPA. A bullet is fired from a gun. The normal guns are point and shoot and it will follow the direction. But what happens if there are self-guided bullets? A bullet has been fired from the gun, but the person moves from the location, but the bullet will follow the target and hit him. This technology is currently in R&D which is called self-guided bullet. We know about the armed drones. Countries use drones to surveillance and even hit targets. DARPA suddenly takes a decision that drones should be able to travel in both air and water. DARPA is now in development of the drone ship which is called the Sea Hunter. This question may sound crazy to some of you guys. Can we hack a human brain? Every year, DARPA has funded 2 to 3 billion dollars for R&D to hack the human brain. This R&D is not to change a human into an android or a robot. DNA will be added to the humans and through this, they are trying to create superhumans. Nearly 90% of the project is successful. Starlink, Neuralink and Mandrake 1. Mandrake 1 will be used by the American government in 2021. The first satellite will be launched. They will also launch second satellite called Mandrake 2. This video will be just an introduction of these terms to you. The upcoming videos we will briefly discuss this project. Let's come back to Joe Biden's transition team. We discussed that the team has 23 members. Who is funding the first 8 members of this transition team? America and American based weapons manufacturers, producers and sellers. There is an organization which predicts where war should happen and if it does happen, what will be their losses. This team will do a lot of research and also conduct various polls. The first and important organization name is CNAS, Center for a New American Agency and the second one's name is CSIS, Center for Strategic and International Studies. Both organizations are funded by the American Defense Department. So American Defense Department leads these two organizations. CSIS means it's all about international strategy, army or internal politics of other countries. They will do their research and instruct about the operations which could be held in those countries. The data obtained through the research will be passed to the American Defense Department. People who work will be remarkably talented persons, scientists. They may be posted in many countries. Who will fund these people for their research? The world's leading weapons manufacturers will fund these people. So if there is civil unrest in a country, they will ignite a war and sell the weapons to them. CSIS has been funded by the Northrop Grumman, Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Raytheon and many companies. In Northrop Grumman alone, 90,000 employees are working for the company. For a year, their turnover or profit is 30 billion US dollars. Northrop Grumman, which has this huge turnover, funds CSIS. CSIS has added new fund members which include Taiwan, South Korea, UK and many countries. Northrop Grumman's important personnel are right now in Joe Biden's transition team. Their names are Kathleen Hicks, Andrew Hunter and Melissa Dalton. Let's discuss CNAS now. So from CNAS, the people who are in Joe Biden's transition team, Susanna Bloom and Ellie Radnor. CNAS is also funded by many organizations and two top personnel have joined the transition team. Let's discuss another organization. How much nukes does a country have? Whether it is America, China or India, what internal issues do the countries face? Which political party is to be blamed for the issues? All the answers will be researched and a report which is accurate will be delivered. This is done by an organization RAND, R-A-N-D, Research and Development. RAND has been funded by American government and DARPA. From the RAND organization, there are three members in the transition team. 
So eight members in the transition team who will be the representatives of the weapons manufacturers in America's Pentagon. This is going to happen. What are your thoughts in this? Who is leading or making it to happen? We know about our India's DRDO which does R&D and produces weapons for the army. Is there a similarity between India's DRDO and America's DARPA? There is no similarity between these two organizations. DRDO and DARPA both have scientists but the job they do is the exact opposite. In DARPA there may be 120 to 300 scientists. They can work for DARPA for up to 5 years. Their job is to not create new weapons. They should give orders to weapon manufacturers to produce weapons. When and how the research should be conducted. So DARPA just says that it needs these weapons after 10 years. When the weapons are produced, which countries are allowed to use these weapons? The decision is also taken by DARPA. DARPA was started in 1958. DARPA until 1972 was a part of the Pentagon. DARPA after 1972 requested another location for a headquarters. The American government gives a separate HQ for DARPA. After these projects, DARPA cannot be controlled by the American government. DARPA has become autonomous. How did they use this power? Whether it's hydrogen bomb or the internet, they were created by DARPA. DARPA controls IoT devices. The GPS in Android phones are developed by DARPA. So whatever the world needs, DARPA will develop earlier and, and if they use that device, they will allow them into the market. GPS, after being used by American military for so many years, reached the normal people. DARPA is now going to change humans into augmented humans or superhumans. We asked a question in the start of this video. Can we hack humans? Scientists say yes, they have completed their research. A fetus's DNA in the womb can be altered. Every negative aspect in your child can be overcome. So studying a human's DNA and giving and other options or changing the DNA becomes hacking. You may ask us a question. This can be used only for healing, right? For example, a human is blind. His DNA has been changed and he is given vision. This is medicine. But if they can change the vision which is stronger than your normal eye, Example, by adding infrared, looking through structures. This is not medicine. This is changing people into superhumans. If you are capable of seeing people who are standing 2 kilometers away, then you are a superhuman. DARPA, all recent projects are about superhumans. In this huge spectrum, a tiny project is called Neuralink. But Neuralink and Starlink projects belong to Elon Musk. These projects are information given to the public and Elon Musk has been used. Behind all this, there is a huge dream which belongs to DARPA. Elon Musk says that Starlink is only for internet purposes. Wherever you are, you will receive the internet through satellites. But Mandrake 1 and Mandrake 2 are not for your internet purposes. This is for Pit Boss, a terrible villain which will be created through Mandrake 1 and Mandrake 2. When Pit Boss is created, Project Blackjack will be created. America's DARPA will aim to achieve this within 2021. What is this project, Blackjack? What is this Pit Boss? Pit Boss is a system which interconnects various satellites. After interconnecting with the satellites, it will not send the data to the base station. It will process the data in space. Whoever needs the data, Pit Boss will send them accurately. If any other satellite fails in space, Pit Boss will swing into action and replace the failed satellite. It will not need any human assistance. We have already said that the country which rules the space will rule the world. China and Russia, for example, will destroy America's satellite. This will happen in the future. To replace this satellite, America has to send another satellite using rockets. But if America has two or three backup satellites in orbit, Pit Boss will order the backup to be the replacement. All this looks like scenes from a sci-fi movie. This is not sci-fi. If you search the internet, you will find the truth. Let's discuss various details about the DARPA projects in the upcoming videos. We will also discuss about PRISM, InQ10, LifeLock project of DARPA and the shadows of Facebook. 
Facebook's connection with the data mining companies. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox, the voice of Tamil Pokisham. Please give a like to this video and please hit the notification icon. Nandri Vanakam.